Okay. Testing. Alright, mic seems to work. Alright, looks like I'm good to go. Alright, good morning. Um, well, I'm on my lunch break right now, so I'm only going to have about maybe 5-10 minutes to to get out what I want to get out. But, uh, uh, browsing the pinball arcade forums, and I just bought a good question. What a good question here. Worst pinball experience. Uh, of which I have quite a few. But, um, like always, I'm not, not trying to embarrass, not trying to put anybody in the spotlight or anything, but again, I just find it easier. I find it easier to just talk it out than type it out. Uh, to be honest though, I did, I did post a response, but it kind of fell short of what I really wanted to say. It's, so, since since I had a little bit of time before I had to go back to work, I figured I might as well uh, do it right the second time. Which, um, my worst pinball experience is going to be uh, actually many. And more often than not, they're, they're going to involve machines that don't have a ball saver. Or don't have any kind of ball save feature. Or, or a, or, or a multi-ball save feature, excuse me. Um, just there, you know, it's like, um, probably one table that definitely comes to mind, Adam's family. You know, considered by many to be the greatest table ever, or the best table of all time, but when I started playing the thing, the ball drains pick, pick, pick three times in a row. Where's the greatness? I've actually said this in other in other pinball videos. But um it but it's it pretty much it really, it really ticks me off when that happens. It I mean no, you don't I don't I don't need to be held by the hand give me a nice 45 second ball save you know I mean no I, I don't I don't need that you know I'd like to get you know I'd like to be able to you know I'd like to be able to experience the table that you know these people have created but you know if I'm lasting you know maybe a minute or two you know I ain't gonna see hardly any of it I'm off to the next table um there's I got two reasons why on this one in real life, I mean, if, if I have, you know, it's, you know, my money I'm putting in there, but if all I'm getting out of it is just, you know, 30 seconds of ball play and that's it, I mean, pew, screw that, I'm up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go play this table over here where it's got a ball saver and it lets me get something going and, you know, I can play for at least 15 minutes or so, I'm going to that one. Um, from a, from a PC aspect, whenever I, when I stream pinball arcade, I always play random tables, so I don't. And unless I'm a, uh, unless I'm given a good reason to, like a, if a viewer wants me to act, actually request me to play a certain table for him, I'll do that. But for the most part, I won't play the same table twice. So it's nice being on a machine that has a ball saver. So you know, so I can at least play on that table for a little while before I end up having to go up to the next one. Um, but. Those are pretty much my uh, bad experiences. And uh, another aspect is, um, especially true on multi-ball, or and or, if I get to a point on a machine where, what can I call, it? like the ultimate mode, like the very final mode, you know, you know, you're about to slay the dragon or rescue the princess or, you know, or you're an uh, you're a super dude on on the on Doctor Dude. You know, where you can shoot the ramp for gazillions and, but yeah, both balls drain straight down the middle anyway. You know, I mean, stuff like that really ticks me off. So, I, I can't really, I can't really think of one worst absolute pinball experience because, uh, to me, they all suck for different reasons. There, something else I was wanting to say there, but, well, looks like I forgot. I'll just uh, I'll just go on down the line and then see if I can find any kind of inspiration from what other people are saying. Played Sonic Adventure, never played that game before. This is some this is a phrase here I'm starting to see a lot too. This game aged so well. This game aged so poorly, like he said. Um I wonder if that, that's another way of saying, would you play this game again? But again, Ed, that concept of a, 
aging well slash poorly it just kind of goes over my head ah uh, Casanopolis never heard of that Uh, sluggish like playing pinball in slow, super slow motion. I can think of two pinball machines that are like that. Genie and um, Ripley's Believe It or Not. I mean, it, the ball just floats. Um, it, I don't know. Maybe they need to raise the tables up some or something so the ball drops down faster. But it's just painful. One of the worst tables I've ever played. That's probably an unpopular opinion right there because I'm sure quite a few, few people like it. But, I mean, I'm also the same guy that couldn't get into Adam's Family, uh, couldn't get into Monster Bash. Or, or, the the artwork, the gameplay is actually pretty cool. It's just the voice is just really great on me. Like, like child actors could probably have done a better job. Apart from downright broken tables that just eat your money. I kind of said that earlier. Uh, tables that don't have a ball saver are basically quarter eaters. And before, get good. But broken flip. Broken flipper is bolly. You know, now that I think about it, I don't. Whoops. Hang on. I don't recall me. Not once ever, ever playing a pinball machine that was actually broken. Like, literally, like, busted, like, busted flippers and whatnot. Never played that. Goes over my head. <coughs> I'm assuming these are, uh, this pinball arcade is totally different than the one I play. I've I have never even heard of I've never heard of any of these pinball games that these guys are talking about. I must be a young pup compared to these guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> One of the goals of pops. Let the ball pass through the flippers. Really? You literally earn points for letting the ball drain and it gives you your Not much point in that. I mean, are they gonna are they gonna re the, reimburse the points you would have gotten if you hadn't let the ball drain? <laughs> they should make a they should make a table called the Special Olympics, like just um shooting the ball from the plunger as a skill shot. Have a job coach go, good job. <laughs> You hit a target with a flipper and you got a retard on it going, yeah, or something. <laughs> the ball, the ball drains have a retard going, going, I the ball. Oh, don't cry. Everybody's a winner. Pinball. Never heard of that one. Love Ultra Three Riot. I never heard of, never heard of that either. Orbiter One. Never heard of that one. So, it it looks like the rest of it is a. Or here I'll I'll go down to my post. Uh, I thought I had thought my post was in here. Okay, maybe not. I could have sworn I posted on here. I don't get it. The only the only reason I could think of is maybe uh maybe I typed it down and just <clears throat> got cold feet at the last second or 
probably didn't, uh, probably didn't think it would, um, uh, probably, but that's what it was. I probably, I think what I said is, um, I think what I said is, uh, one time I play, I was playing Black Knight, and, uh, I was really close to getting the, uh, the 2.5 million, uh, wizard goal, but, uh, I got a little too overzealous with the table nudging, and ended up tilting the machine, and I had, like, a, a full bonus and had 5x multiplier, so, and I was that close to getting the goal, and, uh, getting all the goals at that table, but I don't, I don't know why I wouldn't have posted that. The only reason I could have thought of is, uh, probably because everybody here is talking about tables that I never played before. I thought maybe what I would have posted would have been off the subject. That's the only reason why. The only reason I could think of. But, damn. Either I got deleted, I don't know. Would have been nice to have been given a reason why, like in a private message or something. Well, nothing in my inbox. Well, well I'll just go ahead and, um, uh, I'll just go ahead and call this good. I gotta, I gotta head back to work. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.